everyone and welcome back. It's that time of year again. It's Cyber Week, Black Friday coming up and I've developed a kind of love-hate relationship with Cyber Week and Black Friday. Part of me obviously loves the fact that everything is discounted and it's super exciting but at the same time it kind of fills me with a little bit of stress and fear of missing out and you kind of feel like you have to be looking everywhere for the best deals and do as much shopping as you possibly can in one week. So for this week's video I wanted to just bring it back a little bit and remind you guys that you don't need to go on some huge huge crazy over the top shopping spree to feel like you've made the most out of Black Friday. What this is a really good opportunity to do is pick up some of those staple pieces for your wardrobe, things that you've had your eye on for a while, just those certain clothing items that you're like, I really want to pick one of those up at some point, or you have something old that needs replacing. So as per usual, I'm gonna be posting all of my like top deals and top picks from all of my favorite retailers on my blog, which is freddymylove.co.uk. It may not be live today, but just keep checking back because I update it every Every single day with the latest codes and the latest deals and I'll also be doing the same on my Instagram with loads of links. I'll basically be flooding my Instagram stories over the next seven days and I'm not doing that to intimidate anyone with shopping but I also just feel like it's really useful to have just one person you can go to for all of their top picks so you don't need to waste the time scouring all of your favorite brands. I'll do the work for you so make sure you guys bookmark my blog freddymylove.co.uk and of course come and follow me on Instagram and turn on notifications for my stories. This video is also sponsored by Abercrombie & Fitch. I'm one of their ambassadors for this year. They are one of my favorite brands of all time, but especially for those wardrobe staples, those basics, because the quality is so good and they're very classic timeless styles. So they will last a very long time in your wardrobe. Abercrombie will have 25% off everything on their site this week. And you can also use my code, which is AFFREDDY, for an additional 15% off. So it's really not to be missed. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some really gorgeous basic wardrobe staples from retailers that I'm pretty sure will have great deals this week. So I thought we'd get started with the ultimate autumn winter wardrobe staple and that is your winter coat. The winter coat for me is something that if you can, I would say you should never ever scrimp on. You unfortunately spend so much time wearing it, at least here in the UK. So you want something high quality that's gonna be durable, something classic that you can bring out every single year and still feel fresh and beautiful in. So my first choice is this absolutely beautiful wool trench coat from Abercrombie. I just feel like you can never go wrong with a coat like this. It's such a classic, timeless, chic style that I just feel like never looks dated. Some of the details that I love about this coat are first of all how the sleeves are cuffed because I feel like a lot of this kind of style of coat have sleeves that just kind of end and they're quite boxy and they're quite loose and baggy and I just don't feel like it does anything. It's not flattering, it's not chic. These cuffs are so, so pretty. They're finished off with a little tortoiseshell button. And I just think it gives the sleeve such a nicer shape. It makes the coat look more expensive and also just much more feminine. And then my favorite thing about the coat is the gorgeous kind of faux cape detail that goes around the back. I think that's so simple, but it's so elegant. And this really is the kind of coat that you can just make pop so beautifully with your accessories. So a dark brown beret, add a little pop of color with a scarf, and then just a big chunky handbag. I always feel like wearing a proper handbag rather than like a shoulder bag when I have a coat like this. I think I'm just gonna keep the dark brown beret on to show you guys this other gorgeous camel coat. This one is from Karen Millen, who always do such incredible Cyber Week deals. I honestly feel like they just give their clothes away it's insane this one is a little bit different for me I'm aware it currently looks like a monk's cape but trust the process I just really like the look of this in the picture I like the shape of it I think it's very very chic it looks extremely high-end I love the high neck I just think it looks so elegant obviously you'd have something with like long sleeves probably in winter but do you guys ever feel like when you're dressed up somewhat to go out like in the evening and you feel really good but then you put your coat over the top and you just kind of feel like it ruins the look because it's just not quite, it doesn't have that elegance. I feel like this is such a great coat, like for the daytime, you can be wearing, you know, like your turtlenecks, your long sleeve knits and your boots, but this also really doubles up well as a gorgeous like evening coat that isn't going to bring down your like glam evening outfits. I know this coat won't be for everyone, but personally, I love it. I think it is so different and unique. It looks expensive and chic, kind of has a retro vintagey sort of period feel about it. And I feel like especially with the beret, I look like Eponine from Les Mis. I feel his arms around me. <laughs> anyway, I'm loving this coat and I feel like it will be very reduced this week. I feel like I've already spent too long on coats, so I'll just quickly show you this last one, which is so, so pretty. It's from LK Bennett, and I just love the color, this beautiful, like, creamy, ivory off-white. I love the shape, it's so slim and simple, 
and sophisticated. It kind of gives me a bit of like the 60s vibe that I like, but not too much. And of course, this absolutely beautiful oversized faux fur collar. It's so soft, so cozy, definitely no need for a scarf. This is giving all of the glamorous, feminine, wintry vibes you could possibly want, but it's still super duper easy to wear. Now, you guys know that I would actually not know what to do with myself in winter if it wasn't for my knitted dresses. And where are all my knitted dresses always from? Yes, of course, Abercrombie. They just make the best ones in the business, in my opinion. They're always so soft. They come in loads of different colors to give you loads of choice. They have tall, regular, and petite, which really helps when it comes to sizing. And above all, they're always just such a lovely fit. They never just look like a big, baggy old jumper dress that has no shape and isn't flattering and just hangs there on your body. They always have a really good fit. So I picked out a couple of my favorite styles and they have both of these in so many different colors. Um, but I just picked a cream and a brown. So let's try these on. So here is the first one. Do you guys see what I mean about the fit? They are just so flattering. There's enough like room kind of around the stomach so that you don't feel like you're wearing like a tight fitting bodycon dress because I personally just don't find those comfortable. I don't really like wearing them and they make me feel a bit like, I don't know, a bit self-conscious, but it still comes in and hugs you around the bottom. So it's not just hanging there like, you know, a paper bag. It's actually giving you just a really nice shape, but it's still a very relaxed, casual fit. It's just spot on in my opinion. You can also try pairing it with a cute belt if you do want to give it a little bit more shape. And I'm not exaggerating guys when I say that I actually live in this kind of dress in winter and I already don't want to take this off. It just takes all of the boxes. It looks stylish, it's cozy and it's comfortable. I'm definitely adding this dress to my collection and maybe treating myself to one more in another color with my discount code. And then here is the second dress. It's a similar shape. It's probably slightly more fitted, but it still gives you that nice room just kind of around the midriff to breathe, to move, which I really like, and then gives you that nice flattering shape at the bottom. We can also try it with the belt. The reason the tag is on, by the way, guys, is because I've ordered a different size. I feel like this one's a bit big. So yeah, I really love this as well. It's such a gorgeous winter staple that you'll just wear every day. I also love the little, um, it's like a little cutout slit in the dress as well, which is super cute. Um, and yeah, dresses are similar yet so different at the same time and that's why I love Abercrombie. <laughs> so next, this is not really an autumn winter wardrobe staple, more of just like a general wardrobe staple and that is of course a silk blouse. You guys know how much I wear mine or do you? Do you know? I wear them so often. I know obviously Lily Silk has sponsored me which is where these pieces are from but I honestly wear mine all the time and I think they're such an essential for a classy feminine wardrobe. So as I mentioned these two and the one I'm wearing now are all from Lily Silk and I have like six different silk blouses from Lily Silk now, like six or seven. They do so many variations and I'm pretty certain that they do have good deals on Cyber Week and Black Friday. And silk isn't the cheapest thing. They're not the most affordable thing to buy, which is why I think you should really go for it this week if you were thinking about it at all. But the good thing about paying for quality is you do get the longevity out of them. So my advice would be to start off with a simple white or an off-white maybe, just because you want to make sure that whatever you buy, you do get the most wear out of. I love wearing wearing them kind of just like this. You guys know I wear it under my cocoa dress all the time. If any of you guys bought the flossy Cornelia dress from my launch on Friday, then you can also wear it under a dress like that, like a pinafore dress. And you can also layer them with knitwear as well, which is not something I would really do because as you guys know, in winter, I basically exclusively wear high necks and turtlenecks, which would be a bit tricky. But if you have any crew neck sweaters, scoop neck sweaters, um, then that would work perfectly and almost like glam them up a little bit. And once you've got your neutral color in a classic style, for me, as well guys I have to have the bow I just love the bow I think it adds the glamour it adds the femininity but you can of course have them buy them without the bow lots of the lily silk ones actually have a detachable bow this one isn't um, but some of my others for example have like a collar and then a little additional bow if you want to add that flair but you can also wear it without which is good so once you've got your neutral staple you could go for a fun color like a pink one of course or they have loads of different colors beautiful jewel tones as well if that's more your thing and then I also just wanted to throw this one out there because it's so beautiful. Um, I wore this in my most recent video on Friday when I'm talking about my new collection. It's not what I'd call a total staple like this one because it has more exaggerated features. It has a really high neck with a big exaggerated bow at the back and these really beautiful like puffy short sleeves. Now it would not be a Freddy Cyber Week video if I didn't talk about bags. You guys know my love affair with my handbags and although I'm usually dressed in affordable high street clothing,
morning, I will almost always be adorning those outfits with a designer bag. Even if it's something you save for yourself for Christmas, you really need to buy them this week because any money saved is a bonus. So obviously most of the higher end designers don't do any deals on Black Friday or Cyber Week, so Louis Vuitton and Chanel and Gucci, you're not gonna be in much luck. But I picked out a couple of my bags that I know for a fact were discounted last year. So first of all, Coach. These are not only two of my favorite Coach bags, but they're two of my most used bags in my collection and they are some of the most affordable as well. And Coach usually do a really good deal this week and if it's not on Coach's website precisely, Coach is stocked on like lots of other retailers like Farfetch and that kind of thing who all also put these bags in promotion. So first of all, I've got to mention the Coach Pillow Tabby. So in all transparency, I was actually gifted this bag and it's not something I would have chosen if I'm being completely honest, um, but they sent it and I was really grateful. And then I couldn't believe how much I used it. Like I have used this so much this year. I'd say it's probably one of my most used bags this year and it's become one of my go-tos. And the reason is it goes with everything first of all because of the color. It's such a convenient bag. Like it just has so much space inside. I fold it with the dust bag and the long strap for now, but it's really, really spacious. This was my New York bag. When we went to New York earlier this year, this was the bag. I find shoulder bags just super, super handy. I really have fallen in love with them, but then you can also wear it as a cute little crossbody if that's what you like. And then of course we have the classic coach tabby bag. This is definitely more typically my style than the Pillow Madison. It's not quite as convenient because it's not as spacious, but it fits so beautifully under the shoulder. And if you're not someone that needs to take a lot of stuff out with you day to day, then it's perfect and it also does have the long strap to go crossbody as well. They have these in loads of different colors. Um, I've also got one in brown, but for me, the ivory is just my most used because it's so versatile. It goes with everything. You can wear it in spring, summer, autumn, winter, and it's just a great bag and definitely one to snap up this week if you can. And then how could I not mention my Dolce & Gabbana Sicily bag? You guys know how obsessed I am with these bags. Look, I've got two, they're so similar and I love them both equally and separately. They're very different, they serve different purposes to me. This is my spring, summer, this is my autumn, winter. It's as simple as that. I also have a third one in like white raffia, which is my summer bag. And honestly, I am constantly tempted to get another one because it's the best handbag ever. I just think it's so classic. It's so chic and feminine. It's timeless. It's very big. You can fit literally everything you need in here. You've got the cute little handle, but then also the long strap that goes across the body, which I use mostly. And just speaking from my experience with working with Farfetch, Dolce & Gabbana is one of the high-end brands that actually does get included in promotions. So Gucci's not ever in there. Burberry, I don't think it's ever really in promotions. Miu Miu isn't. I don't even think Prada anymore, it used to be, and now I think they've stopped. So D&G is one of those high-end brands that you can still get good deals on. And honestly, guys, I don't know any one of my followers who's bought this and has regretted it. I get messages all the time saying, I'm so glad I took your advice and went for the Sicily. It's my favorite handbag, I wear it all the time. And especially in these neutral colors, they just go with everything. And for me, they are a total wardrobe staple all the around. So I actually have my own special Farfetch code, which I think is something like 35 pounds off a 400 pound purchase, but you can also use my code along with the Black Friday promotions, which they don't usually do. So I'm guessing there's going to be some kind of reduction or promotion on the Sicily bags, and then you can use my code on top of that. So again, just a great opportunity if this has been on your wish list. Okay, my next wardrobe staple, especially for autumn winter, I'm gonna go ahead and just say, if you do not order these right now with my code, then you're actually mad. And that is my gorgeous, cozy Abercrombie sweaters. I don't have to tell you guys that I wear these all the time. When I'm around the house in autumn, winter, when I'm traveling, I wear these on plane journeys. And I've worn this one and also a couple of others. I have two more in my drawer. I've worn these on all of my flights this year. And the reason I love these is because obviously they're super soft and cozy and comfy, but they're the kind of sweatshirt that just looks really chic as well. The designs are so, so pretty. And they're just very classy. And I have a friend who is extremely classy and sophisticated, who I never would have imagined would want to wear something like this even. And she was like, when is your code coming out? Because I really need to get some of those sweaters. And I was like, 
I know, you do. <laughs> so this is one of the newer designs, I'll pop this on now. They've got them in so many different colours and designs, but they all have this kind of really minimal, chic, like beautiful embroidery. So this is a gorgeous like ivory sweater and the embroidery with the lettering is like a champagne gold, it's so pretty. Oh my God, why is it actually such a look with the bow? Oh my God, I actually love how that looks, that's so cute. But do you see how adorable this sweater is? Like sometimes you can dress like in classy dresses and silk blouses all you like, but sometimes life calls for a cozy sweater and if you're going to get one make it a gorgeous chic stylish one like this and then I also wanted to remind you guys about my Paris jumper I love this one so much the fit on this one is slightly more um it's a bit more like bombery this one is a bit sleeker this is a really really lovely fit this one is a bit more like it's more cropped and it's more boxy if that makes sense um, but I just love the design on it so much I love the colors I think the green it just looks so expensive and it has a swan and a crown which is just so me and I showed this in my video like a couple of weeks ago but I said in my video that the jumper was sold out and then I checked and it wasn't sold out and I was so cross with myself that I told you guys it was sold out because I know that you love it so I will link it down below you can also use my code for this guys I'm just gonna keep this sweater on for a bit whilst I talk about shoes okay I'm gonna try and whiz through shoes because I could honestly talk about shoes all day as you can see I am starting with my Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots I will carry on praising these boots until the cows come home for the rest of my life. You guys know I have been on a journey with over the knee boots. I've gone through almost every high street option I could find until I finally took the plunge and got the it over the knee boots. These boots are just one of the best things I've ever bought um, and touch wood, like God forbid if there was a fire or something happened to my possessions, these would be one of the first like wardrobe staples that I would replace. I shall just model one for you now. Do you just see how beautifully fitted and streamlined they are? on my leg. They're not baggy, they're not like all loose and horrible around the thigh, they stay up, they look fabulous. I've worn them so much it's actually embarrassing and they've just completely retained their quality. They look, they look practically new and I even went out in these stupidly in the pouring rain and you can hardly even tell and they're suede. So Stuart Weitzman kind of like take away some of their designs and then bring them back and I think last year they didn't have the beautiful dark chocolate brown in the small block heel. These are called the Thailand boots. But this year they've brought them back. They are on Farfetch and I'm pretty sure that they will have a promotion this week. And just very quickly, the same goes for the ankle boots. These are just my favorite. They are so beautiful on your ankle. They really are kind of like a sock boot. They're so nice and tightly fitted. So if you wear these with like brown tights, your legs just look a mile long. They're so comfortable with this small block heel and it's just the perfect heel. It's like blocky enough to be comfortable, but it's not like a big block that looks really ungainly and masculine. It still looks really feminine. And then you've also got the beautiful almond toe shape, which I love. It's the perfect balance between a round toe, which I don't love, and a pointy toe, which I hate. So I shall also link these back to Farfetch for you guys because I'm pretty sure they will be in a promo. And then finally, I couldn't let the shoe section pass by without mentioning my new Ferragamo ballet pumps. I'm not gonna lie, when I got these I was not even entirely convinced that I would get a lot of wear out of them when I got them. I kind of just felt like I wanted to give them a try and I was working with Farfetch which gave me the opportunity to get something new and so I thought hey do you know what I'll just give them a try and I have not taken these off. You know like you keep a pair of shoes by the door that you don't even bother bringing up and putting away because you're always wearing them. I've just been loving wearing them with tights. I know you guys are going to go crazy at me because I'm always saying that I'm like anti-tights. I'm not anti-tight, I'm not, because I've always worn like brown tights, you guys know that. What I'm anti is wearing like an outfit like this that's really nice cream neutral tones and then having like solid black opaque legs for no reason, like you could, you might as well be wearing black leggings. And for me, that just ruins the look. But if you tie in, it's simultaneous, if they're brown, if they're a bit sheer, if it looks like a decision that's like part of the look, then I think they're really nice. I just don't like the opaque black ones, okay? And to be honest, normally I exclusively wear brown, like dark brown tights, because I just prefer them. But with these, because the toe cap and the bow is black, I didn't really feel like brown worked. So I just wore my really sheer, like 20 denier black tights with these, and they just look so chic, 
so dainty, so classic, so French. Just everything that I love and I'm so happy that ballet pumps are having a comeback because I used to live in shoes like this. This is literally like the definition of me kind of as a teenager and like very early 20s. But then they kind of went out of style and they started looking quite dated and just a bit like immature. I just really wasn't feeling them anymore but now they've come back and I'm seeing them in a whole new light and I'm absolutely loving it. And I love these ones from Ferragamo. They're so pretty. They've got a tiny little heel. They look so elegant and beautiful. And again, I'm sure that you will be able to get a promo on these um, via Farfetch this week. So I will link them down below. So guys, that is it from me. I really wanted to keep today's video simple and stick to those basic wardrobe staples but I will be posting links to everything and anything that is gorgeous and girly and fun on my Instagram and my blog. So please make sure you do keep up with it and don't miss out on the good deals this week. Do not forget my Abercrombie code for an extra 15% off the Black Friday promotions. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you all next week. Bye.